Well, good morning. It is Monday, February 28th, last day of February. It is a beautiful morning out here. I'm just headed up uh, Provo Canyon now, as you can see out here over the reservoir, the clouds or the mist or whatever hovering above it and it is just beautiful out here this morning it's uh, 13 degrees at the moment and looks like it is going to be a good day to go through the canyon here got another pretty shot over there on the left Deer Creek Reservoir. And now it's downtown Heber. Well, just going past Jordan L now. There's no clouds hovering over it, but it's still pretty, especially this time of morning. Just a few minutes too early for a nice sunrise, but nonetheless, we'll take what we can get here. Well, I am just headed east on I-80 now through here it's uh, going smooth not a whole lot of traffic um, you'll kind of have to excuse my editing on these videos uh, the only editing I do is what I can do right off of my phone I don't have a program or a computer to do them at home. I do have a computer, but it's just not good enough to do it. And so there's a couple things that I would like to eventually get someday is I need to get a good computer that is capable of editing videos good. And I would also like to try to find somebody, a class or a workshop or something like that where I could go in and have somebody actually teach me how to edit videos. I know a few years ago me and Tammy we both had good cameras and we kind of got tired of feeling like we had to just take all of our photographs in automatic mode. So we found a class and went and it was the best thing I ever done was take that class to learn how to run my camera and it just helped us both out quite a bit. Tammy she's she's a lot better with her camera than I am but she takes some really good pictures and it was fun we spent that time together learning them and could kind of help each other understand the settings on our camera and that's what I'm looking for for video editing and that and I just haven't found anything yet. I've looked around, kind of called around, but I, I just haven't seen any, you know, night classes or whatever that do that. So I, I'll keep looking and hopefully, hopefully find something. You can do quite a bit just from your phone. They have some really good programs on it but 
I, and I've tried them and played around with them and I just can't get them figured out. I just need somebody to help me along doing them. So hopefully I find something. I'm always trying to look for better ways to improve the quality of the videos and we'll just we'll just keep doing it and go from there. Well just going past Echo Reservoir now. This poor reservoir it just don't seem to be getting much water in it. Uh, Deer Creek and Jordan L they're they're filling up pretty good in that. They must be stealing all the water that is supposed to come down here because this one sure isn't filling up quite like them other two are. Well, I'm just coming down I-84 Weber Canyon here this morning and I always like to try to come this way when I can and maybe some of you are wondering well how come you never come this way when it's roads are bad or snowing give you a little more excitement or something I don't know on that but to be right honest with you if the roads are bad and it's snowing I do not come this way I will take my chances on I-15 and I go that way and plus sometimes I've got other stops I've got to make in the Salt Lake area so that that plays into what direction I choose to come home but I sure do like coming this way when it's good weather and pretty like this it's a nice enjoyable ride. Well, just getting back on to I-15 now, if you're wondering why I like to come the way I just came from, this is kind of one of the reasons here. There's just a lot less traffic on that other coming through the canyon as there is on here. And this actually isn't too bad right now. Well, just kind of at a little bottleneck right here with a couple of trucks. Uh, this is a section of I-15 that vehicles over 12,000 pounds aren't supposed to be in the left lane, so you just kind of have to ride this out until you can get around some of them. Seems like. Most of, the, most of the trucks out here are governed at something anywhere from about 65 to 75 and anywhere in between there. So you just have to go with the flow here for a while. Well, just pulling up Sardine Canyon now, going through Mantua. Now, before everybody says, oh man, you don't even know how to say it, I know how to say it, it's man away. But the story behind it is kind of funny. When I was younger, my dad, when we'd come through here, I'd, I asked him how you said that. And that's what he told me, Mantua. Now, anybody who knows my dad knows kind of what a jokestery was on that. So for a lot of years I thought, I really thought that's how you were supposed to say it. And that I was probably fairly old when I said that riding through here with somebody besides my dad or family and that and I called it that and they just looked at me like, 
how dumb are you? You should be old enough to know how to say that. But that's kind of the story behind why I said that. And it's, I've laughed about that every time I come through here. Well, just coming down here through Dry Lake now. And I know I show this view a lot, but I just can't hardly resist because it seems like the view's a little bit different every time I come through. So I like to try to get that included on the video. So here it is one more time. Coming out of the canyon now, beautiful look at the valley. This never gets old either, as far as I'm concerned. Looks like a pretty clear day out there, a little haze, but not too bad. So we'll just head back to our destination and go from there. Well, what a way, good way to end it, coming out of the canyon. So, I'm probably just going to wrap this video up here. It's been a nice ride, beautiful morning, and thanks for coming along and riding along with me. And until next time, we'll just catch you a little bit later down the road. Thanks for watching.